Let's analyze things I find oddly terrifying. Videos that I really hope for your own sake you can't relate to. Number 11. A TikTok user named Caesar in MP is piloting a plane when he sees an oddly terrifying unknown flying object skimming the clouds. <laughs> Just below, the tiny circular object appears to have no propellers and emits no exhaust. It looks like it's moving extremely fast, but keep in mind Caesar is passing it in his own aircraft, so its exact speed is unknown. A regular civilian drone could not move at this rate of speed, and its design looks more complex than a regular drone. So what do you think? Secret project? Or something from someplace much farther away than Earth? Number 10. Real Victoria is woken up by her cat hissing at something it sees in the bedroom window. The cat goes quiet when she starts recording, but it's definitely focused on some activity outside. She says this creepy looking character was looking in through her window, and he very well may have been, but at 4 seconds he also seems to be looking up and trying to get the attention of someone in the room above him. In fact, I think I hear him shout something and whistle loudly at the beginning of this video. What is he saying here? Eventually, he steps away and out of sight. I guess he either saw the camera, or he finally got the attention of someone in the unit above. Whatever he was up to, having a complete stranger anywhere near where you live at 5 in the morning is oddly terrifying. With that said, I do believe her, and I hope real Victoria stays safe until her lease is up and she can get out of there. Number 9. Uday Hindi is exploring an old building when he comes across a little girl staring at him from the corner of the room. <laughs> The door furthest away from both of them shuts all by itself before he gets a chance to investigate. Despite this, Uday Hindi bravely pushes into the next room and discovers she is not a girl, but rather a creepy life-size doll. He roughly handles the doll from room to room and throws it on the floor, and that's when the doll decides it's had enough. <laughs> I saw no strings when the doll moved, did you? Anyway, he is busy analyzing some strange and possibly demonic markings on the doll when suddenly this happens. Watch and try and translate what he says shortly before it goes all wrong. <laughs> This part I feel like could have been from the way the doll was leaning on the wall before it fell, but the incident before that I feel could be quite real. Number 8. A YouTuber named The Maniac sets out with his cousin to explore the back roads of Maine. Within 5 minutes a vehicle pulls up and somebody gets out while pointing at the ground. He doesn't identify himself and he certainly isn't a police officer, so I think the maniac was in the right to try and get away. I will admit that they were going pretty fast earlier, so maybe that's why this person was so upset. Anyway, approximately two minutes later, they see him again but he is already turning with a car behind him and unable to swing back around. This time the maniac speeds by him for a final look and sure enough, the man is wearing the same grey shirt and watch as before. The maniac speeds off again before the man has a chance to get out of his car and try and make another attempt to stop him. Number 7. Exploring with Danny is back, this time at an abandoned building rumored to have strange lights and other happenings. Within minutes of entering, they hear a humming noise that briefly morphs into strange piano music coming from the basement. As they round a corner, they find candles are placed in a circle. A woman with a pale face and long black hair turns to them, but I'm not exactly buying it. I mean, her shoes kind of look normal to me, so this could just be a regular person dressed up. Still, the way she continues to chase after them makes me wonder if she's a crazy person, or if I'm wrong about her being a ghost completely. But, skid or not, there really might be something lurking down there with them. 
Everyone is lurking at the corner on the left at the 7 minute mark. But what I want to know is what's up with the two different colored eyes in the back. Perhaps something was watching them this whole time. Number 6. A YouTuber named Jordan Bue is about to get some food with his brother Jeremy and some friends when he sees a tiny lizard hanging out by the pool. He doesn't want to hurt the little guy, so he takes it outside and goes to set it free. But it winds up taking a wrong turn. Go get him. Get him, bud. Oh, he's in your hair! No! Oh, oh he's on your head! Oh. He's, he's nuts. Jordan's friend goes for the close-up, but accidentally scares it towards the safety of his hair. Only its tail is sticking out and then it's fully gone. They give it some time and let it resurface. It may have changed to the same color as his hair, and you can barely see it at this point. Finally, they scoop it out and set it free, but the lizard almost doubles back for another round and jumps on one of their shoes. Fortunately, it is not a repeat performance, and they are able to shoo it away. Number 5. These Russian nightclub partiers look normal enough, but check out what happens to some of their eyes during a power outage. Guys, check it out. Look at that. Almost everyone else's eyes are not visible except for a select few. Even if these were contact lenses or something like that, there's absolutely no light to reflect. Until you can give me a scientific explanation as to why someone's eyes would glow in the dark with the lights out, I would have to say this video is definitely not normal to say the least. Number 4. Odd lights hang around shortly after. Gavin Blackshire leaves his property and he is certain they're supernatural. The lights move over one car and back again. never breaking their vertical formation. Someone in the comments says that it's just a spider web with rain droplets up close. I believe this explanation, but at the same time it's really weird how nothing appears until the moment he leaves. Number 3. This tiny humanoid lays on the tile floor. Its arms stretched helplessly in front of it, as if it had been crawling to safety before it stopped on its side. When you zoom in really close at 32 seconds, you can see the head is much darker than the body, and it almost looks like it has two eyes and a thin, expressionless line for a mouth. Definitely not the face of a rodent, and definitely not like the face of anything I've seen before. I don't know if this is a shriveled up baby mouse or what. I can almost see a tail behind it, but then again it looks like it could be its legs. It looks more like it walks on two legs than four. Number two. I don't know if this episode of CK Taylor's show is more odd or terrifying. Today's item on the menu is Gooey Duck, which is an oversized clam, not a duck, though it does look extraordinarily gooey. Forget about the appearance for one second and let me ask you this. Would you be able to eat anything that sounds like a hissing balloon? <laughs> It doesn't get any prettier or less odd looking when you remove the first layer of skin. If anything, it just looks twice as terrifying as before. And when CK Taylor cracks open the shell, the rest of its body looks like some kind of tumor. This is what it looks like when it's fully prepared, which I will admit looks more like a regular piece of seafood, but still like something from another dimension. So that's a hard pass from me. To be fair, I'm sure CK Taylor is an excellent chef, and her husband says it tastes good when he tries it. It tastes... It good? Right? No. Would you be brave enough to take a bite? Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and if you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Have you seen the number 15 music video yet? If not, you're definitely missing out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Number 1. A woman in Oregon, Ohio is being held captive when she convinces her captor to let her order a pizza. He is listening very closely in the same room and she somehow has to get her across to the dispatcher that she needs help without alerting the madman next to her. 
I honestly probably would have thought this was a prank or somebody who was partying a little too hard and might have hung up. This is the wrong number to call for a pizza. No, 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 you're not. I'm getting you now. But the phone call still isn't over with. She needs to answer some more questions to give authorities as much information as possible. She manages to skillfully provide some meaningful responses while making it sound like she's been asked more questions about her order. Is the other guy still there? Yeah. I need a large pizza. Alright. How about medical? You need medical? No. What pepperoni? The evenness in her voice is amazing, considering that a single hint of nervousness could give the whole situation away. I'm sure she was desperate to shout at them to hurry up and get her fast, which thankfully they do, and the person responsible is put away behind bars. How she managed to keep her voice so calm is beyond me, but I guess when it's a survival situation, we just do whatever we can, however we can, to get out of there alive.